Bypass Publishing presents Psychology in the Fast Lane Difficult Topics Explained Divisions, Systems, and Structures of the Nervous System The most basic structure of the nervous system is the neuron. Here's a chart of the divisions found within the nervous system, all functioning together simultaneously. We can split the nervous system into two major systems, the peripheral and the central. The peripheral system can be divided into two subsystems, the autonomic and somatic systems. And the autonomic system divides even further into the sympathetic and parasympathetic divisions. And within the somatic system are afferent neurons and efferent neurons. Now the two divisions of the central nervous system are the spinal cord and the brain. The spinal cord can be divided into the types of neurons and their functions, but we can save that for another day. Right now, let's turn to the brain. Various researchers have suggested different ways of dividing the brain, so if what I describe isn't exactly what you remember, do some research to see why. But for now, let's divide the brain into three sections based on their location. The hindbrain, midbrain, and forebrain. The hindbrain is responsible for basic life functions and can be divided into the pons, medulla, and cerebellum and we could make more divisions within the midbrain, but for now let's wait. Now the forebrain can divide into the thalamus, the hypothalamus, the limbic system, the corpus callosum, and the cerebral cortex. Now part of the point of this is that there are always more divisions that can be made, but this basic outline will give you a great start to understanding the general structures of the nervous system. You can study as deep as you want by looking up the further divisions.